Hi. Hello. Oh, can you hear me? How was your day? Yes, I can hear you. It was yes, okay. I can hear you. Okay, it was okay. How was your day? Uh, a very busy day, very long day, but I just get home a uh, few minutes ago. Really? How is the street? Is it cold? I'm usually don't I have I don't have problems with with the, with cold. For me, it's like perfect. Yeah. Today, but yes, it's it's a, a little bit a little cold. I uh, love this weather. Me too. I love it. I love this weather. It's too shame that many people are suffering. Yes. But, I agree with that. But it's a good weather. I I, I never use a, a sweater. I have a new one. Someone gave me a few years ago. I never used it. <laughs> maybe maybe now is the time. I love I love cold weather. I like sleeping like that. I like I like I like to sleep with cold weather is the best. I agree it's, it's the best. Days like days like those days is the only days when my fun uh, rest. Yes. Yes, it's true. There's Alexandra. Hi, teacher. Hi, Alexandra. Hi. We have Jaime. Uh, Alexandra, are you in your room or in the living room? I'm my room. Okay, cool. It's a cold in your house. Yes, teacher, it's cold. I imagine. Hmm, it's nice. That's what we're talking about. The cold weather is very nice. Yes, teacher, it's better than in hot weather. Yeah. So enjoy, enjoy while you can. <laughs> yes. All right, we see Jimmy, there is Jorge Mendoza, Ingrid. Hi. Hi. You know, Ingrid, I was thinking about you yesterday. You know who I like in, in, in Spanish rock? Yeah. I, I'll be honest with you. I really, really hate Sol Estéreo. No. Huh? <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> because in I I could understand why Soda Stereo is so famous because they were like the new like something new in Latin America. But if you analyze, they are a very very I mean, it's not a influence. They are a very big copy of the Cure and uh, the patch mode, even even their greatest hits, the, the riffs, they stole from other groups. Like like Zoom, you know Zoom? Yeah, yeah I, know, I know the song. That's a song from Kiss, the riff of the guitar. Cuando pasa el tiempo, all the riffs, they, they, that's, why, that's why if you notice, I mean, they are respected, but they're not very, very respected in the rock and roll community, like by rockers. Mm -hmm. yeah, but, but, but the lyrics uh, of Soda Serio uh, makes reference to the reality of the society, Argentine oh, of society. In the, no, no, in the race. But, but you know, I, okay, wait, I, I don't like Soda Serio, but I do like Gustavo Cerati solo, solo artist, it was good. And I imagined what, what happened was that Maybe they had to sign a contract and then the contract told them, hey, you have to have this look and you have to sing like this. Maybe, <laughs> you know, I mean, they needed money. But I mean, yeah, but if, if you, yeah, it's a good song. 
Yeah. No, of course. Not but but remember, not all their songs were copy. No. Uh, I this mean, song, no. This song is not a. This song is not about. Uh, I love them. It's about the cancer in in his father. You know that. Yeah. I did not know that. I'm gonna tell it to my wife because she loves Soda Stereo and I really hate them. <laughs> no, no, I don't hate them. But I, like for example, for me, I like I think the best rock and roll group in Spanish. I mean, I like uh, Café Tacuba is good. Uh, Caifanes is wow. Atercio Pelados yeah. is good. Caifanes? Yeah, they're original. They are original, yeah. but if 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 you Maybe see just... if you see Soda Stereo, even the hair, the voice, and the bass is the Cure. Do you know the Cure? Yeah, I like yeah. I like it too. Yeah, yeah, but but you know, they, have... they what, are what, kind of indie music. Yeah, when I say that, people get offended. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, but you know, I can send you. I can send you a. a a web there's this in YouTube. There's this video that's called Soda Stereo or Plagio Stereo, Plagio Stereo, and you will be shocked if if you're a, if you are a Soda Stereo fan, don't watch it because you will feel very sad because they put every song, every famous song they have, and the riff from the original song. It took you guys like, oh my god, <laughs> yeah. Maybe. But Maybe. Gustavo Cerati was an excellent, excellent writer. He's a good musician. But I didn't know that, Alvin. Tres para yeah. tres mm -hmm. is about the cancer. Yeah, I really like so the Stereo. That is not one of my three. favorites, but I, but I enjoy the music. Mm. I saw, I saw, it was Del Silencio in concert. Really? <laughs> I am a big fan of Ero Del Silencio. No, so I really like too. Him. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, no, I saw. So I mean, yeah, I, they're okay. Um, that's not, but um, but I did see them when they came. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's. Cool. I wish it could be gone. <laughs> yeah, they I only came to, once. Uh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I went to what to Guatemala to to so to see them. them. No, I I saw yeah. them here in, in Nacio Nacional. But Where the. The first time, the first 99. Time. yeah, the only time they came, I think. It was a good concert. Teacher, did you see some time uh, uh, in in uh, alive um, the pitch mode? No, I I even wanted to go to Costa Rica to see them, but in one day all the kid tickets sold out. But uh, the pitch mode is in my bucket list. The best concert I have seen in El Salvador. Yeah, the best the best concert I have seen in Salvador was um, Café Tacuba with Atercio Pelados together. That was a crazy concert. They it was good. Almost nice as reencuentro <laughs> menudo. Here I I. Yeah. Have you seen? Have you seen? I, uh, when I went to concert Molotov. Oh, okay. Ooh. Have you seen the Menudo yeah, Challenge? Cool. Have you seen the Menudo nah. Challenge? No. Nah. I no. look. I nah. I still I don't understand TikTok. I don't. But there is a challenge in TikTok of a Menudo Challenge, where kids they put the song to their mothers. Like let's say the mothers are cooking, and they put the song like Ben Claridad, and it's funny because you see mothers then they start dancing. Ben like, <laughs> you know, and all the mothers start dancing and remembering their their time. Yeah. All right, dude. I I saw I saw at a Hona in concert. Can you imagine that? Welcome to my circus. <laughs> yeah, no. but you know that's what oh. men have to do for women. But no. it was a good concert. It was okay. It was all right. It was nice. All so right, man. Like Ricky Martin. Yeah. <laughs> Beatrice is there. Alex, Mr. White, Carlos, yes. Gio. Yes. First time I see Beatrice, I think. Yes, I. 
our dear lawyer. <laughs> yeah, our lawyer, yeah. Have you, are you, oh yeah, Gio is cold. He has a long shirt, a long black shirt. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so let's continue. I'm going to share my screen with you. Oh, and um, I I spoke with Lale. Mm -hmm. I I actually I was with them. I was I was with them in um in the lobby in the hotel. Well, not in the lobby in the swimming pool. I was talking to Beto. Beto's Beto a singer. Willis. Yeah, he's very Beto nice. Willis. He's very cool. He's very very cool. Um, he signed, he gave me a lot of autographs. The thing was that we had a reunion and where I was teaching, we had a reunion in the hotel. And when we look, he was, he was there with the drummer in the swimming pool, like normal, like normal, like, you know, but this was like in the year 2003, I think. So I went, I spoke with him. He was very nice. All right. Remember yesterday we're doing by and uh, gerund. Yes. Mm -hmm. By watch, you know, you can learn how to cook by watching YouTube videos. Yeah. Remember. Improve your accent by talking to native English speakers. All right. Good. Although grammatically this is wrong. It says you can improve your accent by talking. Don't stop by talking. It's by speaking. Oh, well. <laughs> grammatically it's wrong, but it's okay. So you can improve your accent by talking to native English speakers. Good. What is another way you think you can improve your accent? By uh, watching American movies. Good. By watching American movies. Yes. Mm, reading magazine in English. Yeah, for me, you can improve your accent by reading children's books. And yeah, um, maybe watching the series in English. But yeah. you see the problem, okay, you see, you have to analyze. What do you want to learn? Do you want to, I'm, I'm sorry, what do you want to practice? Do you want to practice comprehension? Because if you watch American series, you know, you just watch it and you comprehend, but you don't, you don't repeat what they say, do you? Yeah, I do. Wow, okay, if you do, that's good, <laughs> but the majority of people don't. So, uh, yeah, so, you know, what I recommend you, okay, for me, one, one way to, of improving uh, your accent is by speaking in syllables, in syllables. When you can't pronounce a word, like, let me see, what, what is a difficult word to pronounce? Refrigerator. You know, or um, daughter, daughter. I don't know. Some people can't can't pronounce daughter. Daughter. Mm -hmm. daughter. daughter. You know, you say daughter, daughter. You you know, say it in syllables. Clap, daughter, mm -hmm. and then daughter, daughter. You know, I mean, say it in syllables. Like the refrigerator, I think it's four syllables. Say it in four, three, two, one. You know, refrigerator, refrigerator, refrigerator. You know, you know that that's a good way of improving your fridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> you, like. Um, ¿Quién me puede decir en inglés la peor palabra del mundo es guerra? The worst word. In English, is war. No, 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 quitando no, inglés. Solo dígame esta oración en inglés. La peor palabra en el mundo es guerra. Worst word in the world. In the world is war. Yeah, you see that. That's how you practice. War. The worst word in the world is war. Yeah. 
The worst word in the world is worst. The worst, the worst word in the world. You see that you really practice your 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 lips. The worst, the worst word in the world is war. Yeah, good. Do you know you know what those are called? Those are called tongue twisters. Tongue twister. Worst word in the world is war. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, tongue twisters. All right, so you can improve your accent by doing many things, by watching videos, by oh, also by reading books, reading children's books. It's very good. Little Red Riding Hood was going through the woods to visit her grandmother, and she saw the big bad wolf. <laughs> okay, now this is interesting. A good way to learn idioms is um, by doing translation exercises, by reading magazines in English, by studying learner's dictionary, by role playing with a partner, by watching American movies, by practicing in your English class, by I'm writing in your English class, okay, or by talking to native speakers, you know, more than I one answer is possible here. Yeah, but which do you think is the most correct? By writing to English speaking pen pals. You think that's the best way? I think it by talking to yes. native English speakers because you. Can to learn. A good way to learn idioms is uh, by writing to English speaking pen pace. Okay, let's see. Let's see what this one's going to give us. Can you give an example of an idiom? German. Can you give me an example of an idiom? Germany, teacher. Germany. Germany is an idiom. Idioms. Idiom. Uh -huh. what, what is an idiom? <laughs> an idioms, actually. Do you know? Let's see what we roll. It was. Yeah, like a refrain. Can you give me an example of an item? Mm, teacher, when you when when you have to start something, you can say, "Let's get the ball roll." It's something like, uh, "Start to do something." Let's get the ball roll. Okay, good. You know, what What do you understand if I tell you, hey man, you are walking on thin ice? Mm -hmm. Yes. <clears throat> you have to, like you have Excuse me, to be. You repeat? You're walking warning. on thin ice. You're warning, warning him. It's like, be careful. Yeah, you know, hey, you're walking yeah. on. So basically, that would be like in Spanish, cuando tu mamá te decía, está en jabón. You know, so idioms. Yo hay un riso. Idioms is something proper of the, of the language. This cannot be translated. Like, like a nativi. A TV sentence expression. It's an expression. Yeah, yes. expression like like a crystal clear. Yeah, like, piece of like cake. Piece of cake. Something like that. Uh -huh. Take a chill pill. Do you notice? Take a chill pill. No, no teacher. No. Easy, man. <laughs> yeah, chill is chill is relax, and yeah, pill right. is the pill. 
Uh, okay. They say, man, man, take a chill pill, dude. Easy. Relax. Relax al cake. Yeah. <laughs> so remember, um, this this is why sometimes I really don't recommend, or I do recommend, to watch movies with subtitles. Because when you watch movies with subtitles, people think it's a translation. And no, it's not. It's a interpretation. It's like what, I don't know if I told you that once. If you see, imagine you're watching in, yeah, in this, oh, man. No van a poner en, en oh, hombre. Van a poner rayos. Mm -hmm. Y se quedar, hey, no, y no dijo rayos, ahí dijo, what the fuck, you know, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so like, what the fuck, you know, uh -huh. ahí dijo, diantre, o dicen, shh, <laughs> you, know you know what I've been seeing, and you know what I've seen, and um, en el precio de la historia, he visto chuchadas, I, I thought that was only El Salvador that we say that, no, and chuchadas is, is snacks, right? Like, compra chuchadas. And I saw that. I'm, hey, I, th I thought that was only El hey, Salvador. Another example is, hey, take it easy. In El Salvador is, agarrar el suave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, idioms are very difficult to understand because um, every every country mm. has their their um, idioms. Oh, and oh, every, um, Latinos have their own, their own, um, Idoms. Modisms. 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 Yeah. Idoms. Uh, black people have their own, you know, idoms. So when you don't understand, analyze the sentence. Okay. So. Teacher, teacher, teacher. Yes. Into native English speakers in this case. Teacher. Yeah, that's what I would put. Teacher, in the United States, you someone heard about the jive uh, and language of the black people yeah there's some people that speak jive <clears throat> give us a, an example please if oh, you man. remember some yeah. word oh man like jive is like oh man <laughs> you know what i mean you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm the king it's like if you watch <laughs> movies <laughs> if you watch movies Jive is really actually more like from black people. You know those black people from the 70s that had a big afro in disco? Yeah, they spoke a lot of jive that like, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? But not, not, not like the rappers today, but it is very difficult to understand jive. Almost nobody speaks jive anymore. But like watch videos from the 70s from black people like, they speak jive. So a good way to learn idioms is, I'm sorry, what was it? By studying, by reading, by doing. Talking to native English speakers. By talking to English native speakers. Mm -hmm. It's not a, by, by practicing. Practicing. By practicing. Yeah. By practicing. Yeah. Or by practicing in your English class too. English class. All right, mm -hmm. let's try that one. Number three, students can become better writers by Writing. Writing to English speaking themselves. Writing. Writing to English. Yeah, this doesn't exist anymore, but do you know what a pen pal is? Pen pal. Okay, this mm -hmm. is an item. Um, pal, pal is, you know what pal is? Chero, compañero. Chero. Camarada. Uh, pen pal. So that, that was like usually when, you know, you had a friend that uh, an anonymous and friend. Last classmates. No, usually a pen pal is somebody you don't know who lives in a different state and you just wrote letters. Like pen pals. Richard, I'll be back. Okay, no problem. Uh, pen pals don't exist anymore because now we have WhatsApp. <laughs> WhatsApp and emails. Okay, next, a good way to learn new vocabulary is? By studying a learner's dictionary. Mm -hmm. All right. By studying a learner's by dictionary. Reading. By what? 
but, but reading books or magazines. Yeah. You know, I mean, more than one answer is probable here. People can become faster readers by? By reading magazines in English. Reading magazines in English. Okay, let me see. Hold on, please. Uh, next, it says, one way of practicing conversation is? By role playing with a partner. By role playing with a partner, okay. Everybody, you know what role playing is, right? Yes. Uh, not, not really. No, what is the meaning? Okay, role playing is like, okay, imagine you are my boss and I am the police. So you role play, you have to act in that situation. Do you understand? Yes, thank you. Yeah, so yeah, that's role playing, you know. Okay, let's do, let's do a situation. Imagine, Gio, you are the president and Laura, you are the first lady. Please go, and you know, then you have to act. Okay, you can learn to use grammar correctly by doing translation exercises. By doing translation exercises. Excuse me, hold on. Okay, I'm sorry. So you can learn to you can learn to use grammar correctly by I'm sorry, what was it? By doing translation exercises. By doing translation exercises. Yeah, that's true. The best way to develop self-confidence in speaking English is? By practicing. By practicing English class. Good. Let's submit. Mm. Oh, oh my God, I am, oh, 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 oh. So let's see, by talking, let's do this one here. So you can improve your accent by talking and by doing translation exercises, by reading, by studying your dictionary, by role playing, by watching American mm -hmm. movies, by practicing in your class. Let's try by what? I'm watching American movies. Yeah. Nice. Oh my God, I passed. Keep in mind that more than one are correct, okay? Okay, let's do the next. It says reading exercise, learning styles. Okay, um, can you, Ru, uh, Ronnie, can you please read, wait, the first paragraph, please, and okay. tell me if anyone has any questions, okay? I'm sorry, it says learning styles. Have you ever had trouble learning, excuse me, have you ever had trouble learning something? Did you overcome the problem and how? You know, I think everybody, we have that you know, like sometimes it's difficult for us to learn something and we develop our, our unique method to remember or to learn it. Yes? Okay, so Ronnie, can you do number one, please? The first paragraph. Okay. Okay. Have you ever sat in class wondering if you would ever grasp the information that was 
begin tall. Maybe the presentation didn't fit your learning style. Continue. Okay. No, um, no, it's okay. Thank you. Uh, questions? Everything good? Grasps is like consume. Sat. Sat is the past of sit. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Have you ever sat consume, in your... Consume, uh, teacher, perdón, consume like uh, consume food, consume groceries. No, I'm sorry, consume not, not consume, it's like absorb. Because it's do it, what what is it saying is have you ever sat in your class wondering if you ever grasped the information that is being taught? Have you ever been in a in a place where like they're giving information but so much information that you say, Oh my god, I'm not gonna remember all this? Have you ever done that? Oh, yes. Yeah. Maybe, maybe yeah. Like, yeah. It's like the first day of work. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. And you know, I, I think that sometimes people have, uh, sometimes it's not your fault. Sometimes it's the people who are presenting. Because they assume well, that you know about everything. about the taxes information is very difficult to understand all the topics. Yes. It's true. Okay, um, you, uh, uh, Ronnie, can you pick somebody else to read, please? Okay, let me see. Um, George Mendoza. Hey, Are you there, yes, George? Yes, sir. <laughs> and you wake up? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I wake up. <laughs> I am awake. I am awake. Okay. Or means and um, bodies gather information in different ways and from or around us, seeing, hearing, and doing the or being process that information organizing it and making connection to things we already know. This process can all also work in different ways. Do we think in picture or words? Do we remember details? all the big pictures. Okay, one thing is our minds. Our minds. Our minds, Jorge, you said our means. Okay, thank you, our minds. Our minds. Okay, so our minds and bodies gather information in different ways. Some people, some people understand things by picturing some people understand things literally and some people like the technical way yes and that's what i'm telling you that's why sometimes it's difficult to learn the language because people study english or they want to learn english by studying it like old school like no i have to go to class take notes and then study and repeat and you know in english you really have to practice it so you have to change your, your mind English, you have to picture it, practice it. Okay, um, Jorge, can you pick someone else, please? Okay, let me see. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, already. I pick uh, Marvin Josue. All right, Marvin. Yes. What purpose? Three, please. Three. And when we're, when we're trying to learn, it helps to know how your brain works. How do we best gather and organize information? Different people have different learning styles. For example, one people might one person. strong goals. No, one person I can see very well. So, okay. This time is okay. Uh, person mind is stronger with the right information, but understanding. Mm -hmm. And uh, hold on. Mm -hmm. Mind struggles. Okay, you know. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. It says here 
one person might struggle. What is that? What is might struggle? Probably is getting confused. Yeah, it, struggle is difficulty. Yeah. Like, for example, I struggle with mathematics. Mm -hmm. I have a problem with numbers. Really, I have a problem with numbers that when I start thinking too much in numbers, I block. I go, oh. I hate numbers. I really hate numbers. Fighting. Fighting. Why? Problem. That is in Breaking interesting. <laughs> oh, you're an accountant, huh? Yes, I am. Yeah, that's right. I always got good numbers. Yeah. <laughs> For me, I don't like numbers to too. Remember yeah. the names, but not numbers. I understand it. <laughs> yeah. No, but I don't know why. Ever since I was a little kid, they did a psychological test on me, and um, numbers blocked me. Me quedo like Homer Simpson, like. Wow. You are more artistic. Yeah, to be honest, the, I don't the, I don't know the, how I passed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do, you don't use the the left brain a lot. The rational brain. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you are a creative person. Yeah, because I like taking pictures and and and, and yeah, all that. Artistic. Yeah. Like like if we go and eat pupusas, you know how like you go with the family and then people say, Vaya, mira, yo me comí dos, me sale dos sesenta, aquí te doy cinco. I'm, oh, no. Please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because hate that. I hate that. And, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know. Okay, mine is 260. Here, I'll give you five and then blah, blah. And you go, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. I get confused. <laughs> Yeah, so I have, so that is struggle. I struggle with numbers very much. But I like, I mean, the rest, in, in school, I used to struggle with numbers. But what, teacher, what could be the difference between, sorry, what could be the difference between struggle and issues? And issues. Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. Struggle is something more personal because uh, issues happened, happen. Like, you know, I'll give you an example. I have issues with my internet. That's, that's not, you know, out of your control. That's, that's not, you know, under your control. Yeah. But when you struggle is when you do something and it's, you're still having problems because you can't learn. Mm -hmm. Not not the class or not not the people around you. It's you, and you try and you try and you try, and it's still a little difficult. That okay. is a struggle. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. No, Yo, you're welcome. Good question. But issues <laughs> issues is is something that you can't control sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, like something you can, that you can't control. You can't. But I can. Because imagine, imagine, I hope this doesn't happen, but tomorrow in the morning, there's a big, 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 big storm. Imagine tomorrow there's a big storm and you, you know, you have to go to work. You can't. And you call, look, I'm sorry, I can't come there. I have issues with the weather. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you decide <laughs> to drive under the weather, I suppose it's a struggle because, you know, it's you fighting with the weather, but that was your choice. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't understand. Oh, man, I'm struggling with the rain, but I'm doing it, you know. Okay. All right. Okay, so that, that would be struggle, okay? So uh, let me finish the, the last part. Immediately in illustration... Another person might have problems with the picture, but not the written tests. So what this is saying that some people, they, uh, when, when they learn, they struggle with the, with the um, technical part. Some people struggle with the picture part. I have the strict struggle with the poetic. For example, if you, one and that I write a, a piece of poetry, I can't. 
poetry. Oh, okay. Yes, for me it's very difficult. I so so you have I you have problems with rhyming words. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's not your thing. Yeah, I think so. It's, <laughs> it's not because I am really logical to to think. Yeah. I not a lot of imagination. I don't know. You, you know, you know what, Veronica? You know, you know what I really hate about mathematics. Why? That um, I never in my life have used algebra, geometry, <laughs> or nothing. I, I just use basic <laughs> math. And I remember how difficult it was. It was like, do you remember the periodic table? Yes. Yes. I, I remember. I, was I memorized in the... it in, in that moment, but now I, yeah. I Have you ever remember. used it? <laughs> yeah. Only for the class teacher. Yeah, it was only for the class. The class only. <laughs> Yeah. Not in my life. Yeah, I remember how, imagine me, I, I struggle with numbers. I remember how difficult algebra was for me. And then I never used it. Wow, because I chose, or maybe I looked for for the ways where I, I, I will never use mathematics. <laughs> but I, but, but I do understand that it's a very, very important uh, subject because everything is numbers. Well, I hate uh, uh, basic formulas and chemistry. Oh, yeah. They were a nightmare for me. Yeah, because the, the physical is, uh, in my case, I understand all mathematics, statistics, and another uh, uh, algebra, but I have problem with physics. I don't know why. Oh, I remember I always liked uh, history class that, that I liked. Oh, yeah. Anything artistic I liked. Yes, it's true. And the rest I copied. <laughs> All right, let me see the next paragraph. Here it says, psychologists. Psychologists have identified seven basic learning styles. It's going to be interesting. Maybe this one, one of these is yours. Linguistic. These people learn by using language, listening, reading, speaking, and writing. Logical. I think this would be me. These people learn by applying formulas and scientific principles. Oh, but no, it's not me. <laughs> Visual. These people learn by seeing what they are learning. Musical. Instead of finding music a distraction, these people learn well when information is presented through music. Kinesthetic. Movement and physical activity, activities help these people learn. I think that would be my brother. I, had, I, I remember my brother when he was in school, when he was studying in his room, he always walked from one side to the other, reading. So I think he needed to move to to remember to learn. Hey, I'm gonna send him this. Hey, you you are a kinesthetic person. Hmm. Next is intrapersonal. These people learn best if they associate new information directly with their own experiences. That's intrapersonal and interpersonal would be these people learn well by working with others. You will off I think that's me interpersonal. Because when I when I don't understand, I just tell somebody, what? Can you explain that to me? <laughs> you will often encounter situations that do not match your strongest learning style. If you know where your strengths are, you can develop strategies to balance your weakness. For more successful, for a more successful learning experience. So, analyze which one you are, and see, and look at final, and develop strategies to balance that.
Okay. So those were learning styles. So grasp. What does grasp mean on the first? Do you remember? Understand. Something like to get. Collect. Understand. Just pick up or collect. Okay. Pick up, Try hard collect. to do something, understand. Pick something takes away, show a great pick up or collect. Yes. Uh, I think it's between these two. Which one do you vote for? Pick, pick up. Let's understand. Okay, let, let me see. Okay, let's do understand, pero. The first paragraph, teacher. I'm sorry? First paragraph. In the first paragraph, grass yeah, I'm, appear. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to move it, yeah. The problem is that you don't see it, but in my screen, I have all your faces. So I have to move you so I can see. <laughs> okay, so have you ever sat down wondering if you would ever grasp the information that was being taught? So, this two sound good, understand or pick up and collect. I would go for this, but has someone already done it? Which I imagine someone yeah. already has. Understand. Okay, let's do understand. The big picture. A general view, a general view of a situation. A general view of a situation. Gather. Oh, okay. Pick it up correct. Yeah, you know, women, when you get angry with your boyfriend or husband, you say, you know what? Gather all your things and leave. <laughs> I've been told that once or twice in my life. Struggle. Try hard to do something. Okay, try hard to do something. Show one thing. Okay, good. Distraction. Something that takes attention away. Something that takes attention away. Associate. Show one thing is connected to another. Is connected to another. Cool. Let's submit. Cool. It's raining hard in my house. What about in your house? Yeah, it's raining too. Snow. Nothing in my house. Okay. All right, let's let's do this listening. Listen to what Clara tells Augusto. One of Tina's complaints to her landlord is that, what is a landlord? The owner of the landlord. The owner. The homeowner. The, yeah. The landlord would be like your typical Don Barriga, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So let's, let me see. Let's pay me the rent. Don Ramon didn't pay the rent for, for how many years? <laughs> I don't know. That right. was funny. For eternity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like the part I like the part when they go to Acapulco y le cobra en Acapulco y say, esto es falta de respeto. I'm on vacation. <laughs> 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 you are charging me and I'm on vacation. That was funny. Or one time he goes and knock and it's like nine in the morning. Esto es falta de respeto. Son las nueve de la madrugada. I like Don Ramon. He was cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's listen to this. I don't think this is Can the right it? restaurant, Augusto. Yes. It doesn't look very good. I'm sure this is the one. I know it doesn't look great, but the menu looks interesting. But look, that waiter's wearing a horrible shirt. Clara, maybe he likes bright colors. I don't mean the colors. There's a huge tear in it, and it doesn't look clean. Yeah, actually, I see what you mean. And look at this tablecloth. It's badly stained. It looks like someone spilled coffee all over it. 
and my glasses chipped. I could cut myself. Let's get out of here. Four. Hello? Hello, Mr. Jones. This is Tina, the new tenant in 2C. Um, the refrigerator makes a loud noise, and it keeps leaking all over the floor. And another thing, the whole apartment needs to be repainted. I don't understand. You didn't point out any of this when you looked at the apartment last week. Well, I didn't notice the refrigerator then because I hadn't turned it on. But I thought you said you would paint the entire apartment before I moved in. Yes, okay. I'll come over right now. All right, what does Clara tell Augusto? The waiters her glasses cheap. The waiter's shirt is ugly. Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. One of wow. Tina's complaint to her landlord is that Lander, uh, the, the refrigerator leaks. Imagine a Salvadorian landlord, saque mm. al sol. Mm. Okay, next, listen to the conversation, choose the correct answer. To stop uh, depleting the ozone layer, Bob recommends. All right, let's do this. Qué raro. Okay, well, I'm sorry, I'm having problems with downloading this file. Do you know what depleting the ozone layer is? Do you know what depleting is? Uh, Stop depleting. Liar recommends deplete, deplete, depleting. Stop depleting, deplete. Depleting is like reducing. Depleting. So to stop the plating the ozone layer, what do you think Bob recommends? Reducing pollution. Reducing yeah. pollution. Mm -hmm. So it's a synonym. Sonia is upset because the environment is protected. Now you can't be upset because of that. She goes to work mm -hmm. early or people say she's selfish. People say she's selfish. selfish. Okay, Lynn is most, uh, most interested in how pollution causes health problems. health problems. Okay. Man, you guys are good. You guys know the answers without reading, without hearing. <laughs> <laughs> Sally is going to take a course in? Exercise science. <laughs> Oh man, I wish I had you guys in high school and the university. All right, cool. <laughs> okay, next here is, let's complete the sentences. It says, part one, complete these sentences using another form of the bald face word. Do you know what is bald? 
No, teacher. Perdón. Negrita. Negrita. Yeah, in, in, in this case, it would be, oh, bueno, nosotros decimos en oh, negrito. Sí. La letra en negrita. Mm -hmm. negrita. Sí. Okay, these glasses have a scratch on the lens. They are? Scratch. 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 My new car is dented. It has? Dent. A dent. A dent. What is a dent? A bolladura. No, Hondidura. Yeah, o en buen salvadoreño es un camanance. A dimple. Yeah. Yeah, but, but in English it's a hey man. Hey, uh, uh, es una buena forma para joder a alguien. Like when you go visit somebody, hey, is there your car outside? Yeah. What happened to that dent on the door? What? What? And they run outside, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. What's a joke? A dent. There's a small leak in the aquarium. It is? A leak. A leak. It is leaking. Look at the crack in that Teacher. wall. Yes? And the number two, uh, don't put a. Because uh, I in the oh, sentence. Oh, you're right. You're right. I'm s very good. Thank you. I did that on purpose to see who who would notice that. Thank you. Look at the crack in that wall. It is cracked. Cracked. This dress is stained. There are several bad things. Stains. Stains on it. Part two, complete the sentences, use the correct form of need, and add any necessary words. Those towels are so dirty, they? Need washing. They need washing, yes. Washing. The wastebasket in your bedroom is full, it? Needs to be. Needs to be, very good. Needs to, to be. be. The grass in the front yard looks extremely dry. It needs. needs watering. The microwave oven is broken. It needs to be. Okay, it needs, it needs to, be. to be. Part three, it says instructions. Rewrite the sentences using the passive and prepositions. Remember, capital letters and periods at the end of your sentences. The careless use of campfires is burning thousands of acres of forest land. So what, do you, what did you guys put? Do you remember? Thousands of, Thousand of acres of forest land are being born because of the careless use of campfires. Okay. Are being burned? Yes. Because? Because of the careless Careless use oh. of campfire. Yeah, that's a big problem, especially in California. That many people go camping; they 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 make a fire and they just go. All right. Next, flooding has displaced millions of people. Flooding has displaced millions of people. Millions of people has been displaced by flooding. Oh, but millions of people has? Have. Been displaced. Have been. Have been displaced. Have been displaced? As the result of flooding. As the result of flooding. 
Destroying forests have has been killing frogs. Forest has been killing frogs. Destroying forest forest has been killing frogs by frogs. Have been killed. Have been killed. Destroying forest frogs. Frogs have been killed. Forests. Disease and famine are causing suffering for poor people around the world. Remember that one? Poor people around the world. Poor people around the world are suffering. People around the world. Poor people around the world are suffering. Mm -hmm. Or suffering due to disease and famine. Due to disease and famine. Diseases and famine. Disease. Famine. Disease. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Okay, part four. Um, I think it's the last one. Instructions, complete the conversation with rather or prefer. Would you learn, would you blank learn drums or the piano? Rather. Well, I prefer. I prefer. I prefer not to play. What is this? I rather, oh man, you really I prefer. I rather. You, you put I, prefer? Yeah. I prefer. Okay. I even. I prefer. I prefer to find a good piano teacher. I prefer to find a good piano teacher. How about you? I think I've. I rather. <laughs> I prefer not to learn. I rather. Rather or prefer? Rather. Rather. Let me see. Hmm. Hmm. Thousands of acres of. Forests lands land. are being land. I think land. Bay. Land without without S. Well, but it's saying thousands of acres. Oh, foreign land. Yes, it's true. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Frogs have been, have been killed by this period. Let's see. Thousands of acres. Of thousands of working. acres of forest oh, yeah. land are being burned. Being, teacher. That is not being. Yeah. It's a mistake. There is. You son of <laughs> thousands <laughs> of acres of forest land are being burned because of careless use of the careless the. The careless 
Oh my God! But... Of the, the... Yeah. All right. <laughs> in campfire at the end, did you? Campfire. <laughs> With F. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, a struggle. I'm struggling. <laughs> Okay. Video. If it's not this, it's okay. You passed anyway. Well, you only got one. On. Oh, there you go. I'm happy now. <laughs> I hate this. Okay, class. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Good All right, be careful. Bye. Good night. Okay, good night. Good evening. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.